What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tooth Outdoors. We are currently headed to Detroit, Michigan. Me and Nancy are going to go tour a abandoned asylum haunted house thing. And then we brought our magnets with us, so we'll be by the Detroit River. We'll see if we can hit that up too while we're out there. When we get there, we'll show you guys our hotel room and everything. We'll show you the outside of the asylum. We can't bring cameras inside, but I'm going to try to sneak some stuff anyway for you guys to enjoy. But yeah, we got two hour and 20 minute drive ahead of us. We'll see you guys there. We made it. We are here. This is our hotel. Fancy Holiday Inn. Express. Falling on the budget. <laughs> We're gonna go in and check in and everything. We'll show you guys our room. I'm sure it's gonna be glorious. <laughs> See you there. Hello. <laughs> we are here. Room 332. Check out our luggage that went over, right? And we never sleep without a fan, so we have to walk around. See what our room's like. <laughs> How you doing? Hey. I'll come back out there for that. Oh, okay. There's your spot right there. Ooh, jacuzzi tub right in the room. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that's it. Nice little hotel. Here's our beautiful view. Okay, we parked right there. Nice. Nice. King size bed. Microwave. Curry. <laughs> I like how I said microwave in front of the TV. Right. Microwave. Three. Let's check out the bathroom. <laughs> your favorite place. Huh? Yeah, my favorite place where I'm going to be most of the time. We got our own ironing board and iron like every other hotel. Little bathroom. This bathtub that we're not going to use. Can't help. They do have their own hand dryer. Here's mm -hmm. fine. So this is it. This is where we'll be sleeping. But for now, we're gonna get unpacked and get all our stuff in here and get ready to go to the asylum. Like I said, we'll show you guys the outside of that. I'll try to get some sneak peeks of the inside too. But yeah, we'll see you there. here at the asylum they got live bands playing over there this is the asylum i'll try to get some clips inside but if not i'm sorry how cool is this we just got done with round one going into part two all right we just got done in the crazy scary Eloise Asylum. I usually don't get scared of haunted houses, but I was jumping every five feet, squeezing Nancy's hand. My hands were getting so sweaty, but we got our t-shirts and we'll tell you guys more about it when we get back to the hotel. We'll see you there. Okay, we were heading back to the hotel. Actually, we went to the hotel, took the peas, 
and then uh, Nancy found another haunted house in the area online. So we bought tickets and now we are here. Two haunted houses in one night. That way we can tell you guys which one's better of the two. Maybe save you guys some money. Because we care about you. But this one is three haunted houses in one. My pants are still a little damp from the last one. So hopefully I don't shat myself at this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, again, we'll let you guys know how it goes. If I can get some clips inside this one, I'll try. Wasn't able to at the last one, but it was freaking awesome. This one's very busy. Yeah, very, very busy, but we bought VIP tickets so we don't have to wait in that line. <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll let you guys know how, how it is when we're done. We're on our way to Detroit to do some magnet fishing. Look at these cool little bridges though. They're like baby ambassador bridges. Well wasn't that just so neat. Alright guys, we are here. Magnificent in Detroit for the first time for both of us. Look at this beautiful spot we have. It's like a half a mile of just river walk all the way down. We're in Michigan, United States right now, but if you guys look over there, those that over there is Canada. This is such a cool spot. Obviously, everything we pull out of here, we're not gonna be able to bring home and scrap, but we got Mr. Trash Can right there that we're gonna put the metal we don't take in, so at least it's out of the water and we're not piling up on the ground. But that's enough talking. Way too excited to get started. Let's go. Okay, so Nancy just took her first throw and pulled it in. So let's see what she got in her very first throw. Okay, a little fishing hook and leader. Oh, bottle opener. First throw. And some fishing hooks and rusty bits. But heck yeah, a keeper find on the first throw. Now it's my turn. All right, just so we can document it, this is my first throw. And I got a little spoon, a little fishing spoon, another little fishing thing, and a bunch of rusty bits and bottle tops. Heck yeah. All right, now we'll only show you guys the cool stuff that we find. We just wanted to get our first throws in this Detroit River on camera, and there we go. Hey. Is that a rope? Yeah, it's a magnet rope. Alright, start recording? It's been recording. Alright, Nancy got stuck on something. I had to really try to get it off, but it looks like there's a rope on here. Hey! We got another magnet! We got a, a rogue. rogue! A rogue beast! Heck yeah! Don't get it stuck. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to get the barbarian stuck though too. We found a rogue beast. That's been down there a while. Yeah, that's, with the socket on and everything. Heck yeah. I'm gonna send this rogue, they're gonna love this. So we got ourselves a new magnet, new carabiner, and a new rope. We only brought one magnet with us, so I'm gonna take over with this bad boy for now. Heck yeah, good job, babe. Sweet. Thanks for getting it on set. Absolutely, <laughs> thanks for finding me a new magnet. <clears throat> Don't have a lot of rope, but I'm working the shore or right there on the edge with this rogue. Looks like we got something on there. Is that a railroad spike? Yeah. Ooh, okay. A railroad spike, a nice fishing tube. That hook looks in good condition too. We're keeping that. And a working catfish bell, baby. Heck yeah. All right, gotta give a huge shout out to Nancy. She found this spot on uh, Google Maps. 
and I was hesitant to come out here because it was like half an hour away from our hotel. But I'm glad we did because she already found this magnet. We got some lures, her bottle opener, and we're just getting started, folks. All right. Thank you, babe. Let's keep going. I am stuck to something massive though right now. Am I on the seawall? No. Okay. Okay. I think I had to switch section to the seawall. Okay, I'm off. Definitely off. Okay. We've got something on here though, it feels like. I'm on the seawall again! Oh See the magnet now? Something. A little gear or something. Gotcha. Am I on the front? Oh, other seawall. Yeah. The struggle of the magnet fishing, I tell ya. Down there. <laughs> Alright, we'll pick this up when we get the magnet back. <laughs> what did we get here? Part of a speaker and a bunch of metal. Handcuffs? Huh? Are they? They are handcuffs! Oh my gosh! Handcuffs! I'll break them. Oh, guys. Heck yeah! Never found a pair of handcuffs before. Holy crap! Yes! All right, let's see. Let's keep going. Too excited? <laughs> handcuffs! <laughs> okay, Nancy was just sitting in the car eating a snack, and she heard me screaming and stuff, so she came over. I'm stuck to the seawall again, but I got something on the magnet that I can grab. Look at that! <laughs> See if I can grab that thing. Oh, look at that thing. Heck yeah, boys. And girls. And girls. Woo. <laughs> A knife made in Japan. I already got handcuffs and a bunch of other things. Oh my gosh. Definitely was used to murder somebody. I can tell by the way it smells. <laughs> Heck yeah, knife on the board. Let's keep going. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking over with the rogue for a little while. I'm sick of getting stuck to the seawall with the barbarian. See what finals we can get. Doesn't look like anything. Oh yeah, an unfired shotgun shell, Winchester, Ooh -hoo. and a little gross little piece of poop on the hook. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Ammo, add that to the list. Got the handcuffs, the knife, got a drill bit that you didn't see on camera, but you see it in the outro. Bunch of fishing lures. What else do we get? Magnet. A magnet that I just used to pull up these <laughs> bad boys. Heck yeah. I'm gonna pull on this one, and then Nancy's st either stuck on something or has something big, so I'll pull that in for her. <laughs> I know, I'm flirting and stuck, whatever. <laughs> oh, nice! Old school, little kitty cat bell. Ding, 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 ding. And a nail, and a nice big old egg sinker. Heck yeah. Second catfish bell on the day, by the way. 
Let's go see what my Nancy has. I just lost the fishing reel handle. This sea wall is a bee. Got a catfish bill on there though, look at that. Okay, break time. Weight? Yeah. A little lead weight. Sharp thing. Big thing. <laughs> I lost that fishing reel and that catfish bell again off the seawall. But at least we got the magnet unstuck. Gosh. Just cleaning off the magnet and saw that there's a coin on here. Canadian, perhaps? It is Canadian. Makes sense since Canada is literally right there. You guys want your coin back? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm taking it home. Find this keeper. Let's see what else we can get. All right, Nancy says she has something, so I'm gonna pull it in for her. That's something heavy, actually. Oh yeah, baby. Some nice needle nose pliers that aren't opening. And what looks like a giant hinge. God dang. Big old hinge. What else is that? A little leader. And some rusty bits. Heck yeah, babe. Killing it in Detroit. We're not killing what they kill in Detroit, but we're killing the magnet in Detroit. <laughs> they kill us. So we haven't been filming for like the last two minutes or so because Nancy went to get the car to move it up to where we are now. But we got another set of catfish bells. My Jesus, people lose these like crazy here. We got a railroad plate with two railroad spikes still in it, which is the first. For me, yeah. You got a little drop shot weight. Those are always nice. And yet again, another catfish bill. Heck yeah, though. We're killing it. We're gonna be here for just a few more minutes, and then we're headed to Lansing, Michigan, to do some magnet fishing there. Before we go home, drop a comment and let us know what we're gonna find there. I don't know how you would know that. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, just had a big bubble come up, so we get, took something out of the mud. I swear if it's just those nails, I'm <laughs> so mad. Yep. Yes! A cell phone, and what's this? Metal! <laughs> Kilo Sierra, dude! Nice. <laughs> oh, hello? Yes, yeah, so we're just out here killing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phone, yes. Heck yeah. Is it a bird or phone? Probably. We're in Detroit. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. We're all done here now after we found this. We're going to head to Lansing now and see what we can find there. Let's go. <laughs> I know. Where are we? We're in Lansing at a canoe launch thing. I just pulled that up on my first throw. Don't know what it is at all. And on my first throw here as well, got another pair of catfish bells. And there's a lot of stuff down there. I don't know if this place has ever been magnet fish before. So we're about to hit it real quick. See if we can find some of That's cool right there.
we found a cat. We also switched spots. We switched spots. <laughs> that other spot was bunk, but there's a little walking bridge that goes over the river right there. We're still in Lansing, by the way. And it looks like we found another cat right now. Right now, I'm looking for food in the car for it. We don't have any. <laughs> First find here. Part of a good old shopping trolley is what they say in the UK, but we say shopping cart here. Bet the rest of it's down there. Let's find it. What the heck is this? Yeah. Hit the tree. Wait, what is it? Ooh! Oh, sweet, babe! Heck yeah! Toe chains with the hooks on both sides, baby. Heck yeah, babe! All right. You see the only hook right there. Oh, scored! This is probably our best finding yet today, right? All right. Nancy lost her chains, and I just got her another one. Thanks. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right, just got the chain off the magnet and realized it has a lock on it too. So double score. Whatever they tried to lock it up to, didn't work. But heck yeah, super nice. No breaks in the chain at all. Super nice, heavy duty hooks right there. This is gonna be Nancy's baby right here. Heck yeah. Freaking nice. That thing heavy. Oh, watch it. Pretty sure we just linked onto the other part of the shopping cart. But is it gonna come up all the way? That's not a shopping cart. Cause that's a bicycle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Nice huffy bike. This looks like this person might have got hit by a car. The frame is bent like this. Oh look, bonus, you got part of the chain too. Heck yeah. Friggin' bicycle. This little cross state magnificent trip we're doing. Killing it. Let's keep going. No way. Yes! A scooter too. Oh, nice. There's the bike that we just got. Next throw, pulling a freaking scooter. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, this was my bucket list find for such a long time after I met Nancy and I finally found one. And now I have another one. Heck yeah. That might store. Yeah. It could, maybe. Bring it home and see what happens. Awesome. This spot is loaded. There's still a ton of stuff down there. It's ridiculous. It's coming. It's moving. Yep. It's coming. Bubbles like crazy. Something big. Please don't be a tree. Crap, that is heavy. A gumball machine! Oh my gosh! It's a double candy machine. No freaking way. Oh god, look at that. How freaking neat. You can tell they busted the front open, got the change of the candies out. Oh my god. 
And a tool! <laughs> yeah, echo. Oh. oh, right. Seriously, we are having a great, great day. Nice ranch. Freaking candy machine. No way. I have to clean the car up so we can bring all this stuff. I owe you a car shampooing and many kisses. Yes, you do. <laughs> Heck yeah. Awesome. Let's see what else is down here. We obviously have no idea what could be next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. Oh gosh. What could else be down there? Why do I say it like that? <laughs> what could else be down there? Well, there's something big. This is my throw after that candy machine. It's a safe! Oh my god! What the heck? Holy crap! <laughs> no! You get back here! You get, you get back here! goodness what is going on what are you crap oh my gosh no way what kind of safe is it it's a security safe is what it says <laughs> holy mother there's stuff in it Yeah, there's stuff in it. What do we do? Like, what kind of stuff? I don't know yet. Like, put it in the car that way, type of stuff, or dump it here? This one's in all of the holes. Yeah, it's oozing all over me, too. All right. Huh? I got some Meyer bags in the car right now. <laughs> oh God! A safe! A safe! A bike! A shopping cart! A chain! A wrench! A scooter! A freaking candy machine! It's gonna be so hard to leave this by. But if you guys think we should come back here, let us know down in the comments and we will make that happen. If you don't leave us a comment down below to make it happen, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Freaking safe. I'm going to take a couple more throws. Obviously, when we go through the stuff in this safe, you guys will see that as well. But I got to keep my anchor fishing. Why is everything so heavy and so finicky? What is that? Oh, that's a sealed unit from like a, a freezer or something. We can scrap this. <laughs> Heck yeah. And the pole. Sealed unit. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go make room in the car. Huh? I'm gonna have to go make room in the car. Okay. I'll be done in a second. We can come back. We will. We will come back. Okay. Sunset is now. So. Okay. Okay. I'll take a couple more throws and then I'm going. Okay. Right. The cat's waiting by the car. Okay. Okay. We're bringing the cat home. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. This is my last throw. Then we gotta start loading up because it's gonna get dark. But I already know that I have more things on here. What the heck is that? The grapple hook? That's not a T square. Carpenter's tree square broken though. Ooh, and a hammerhead. <laughs> Look at that. 
Oh, I wish I had the light on here. It's getting really dark, sir. This is like a fur boat, right? Hold on. Uh -huh. Hold on. Give us one second. Working on the light problem here. Here we go. What is this? I don't know what that is. It has a rope on it. Heck yeah! And that hammerhead. I think that's what that is. Oh yeah, that's a hammerhead. Freaking sweet. All right, guys. We've had a crazy day. We got to pack up. We'll see you when we get home at the outro. All right, as you guys can see, just mud, some carpet that goes on the walls of the safe, and a uh, bunch of mud. I thought there was, oh, is this just shelves? Yeah. There's shelves for it? Mm -hmm. It's a laptop. laptop. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Huh? All right, so there was a laptop in it. What kind? It's an Apple. Heck yeah, baby. Apple laptop found inside of a safe. I'm so happy there was something in it. This is our first one that had something in it, and it happens to be an Apple computer. Is there anything else in there? I can't believe we overlooked that. Oh, let me get that No, that's just about it. What is that? What? I don't know, something touched me. Okay, <laughs> got scared. But yeah, Apple laptop. We'll run that on some water when we get home and show you guys that a little bit better. And? Oh, and Mr. Crew office. We're gonna go throw him back in the water before we leave here. Okay, part one of the outro. This is the big stuff. It's full of mud and grossness that we don't want to bring inside. So we're gonna do this part out here. But we got the Huffy. Nice, nice bike. Got the sealed unit here from a fridge or a freezer or something like that. Part of the shopping cart. The scooter. Of course, the beautiful, beautiful safe that had the laptop computer inside. I'll open it up. Yum. Yummy. And then our beautiful candy machine. Look at how beautiful that is. It's gonna be fun going in there, see if we can find some coins or something that the thieves missed. If we do, we'll let you guys know. But let's head inside and get the rest of the outro done. All right, let's go over the rest of the stuff we found today. First, we'll start off with the Canadian dime. It makes sense that we found this where we did since we were literally magnet fishing into Canadian waters pretty much. We got a lot of uh, these weights, fishing lures. You, all, you guys all saw the catfish bells. We had the jackpot there. Little blades and everything. Got a couple more lures over there. <clears throat> Didn't find this on camera, but thought it was cool. A little drill bit. Always cool to find tools. We did get this, which we now know is a three pound grab collapsible grapple anchor for like a kayak or a little dinghy or a small craft. Nancy found the rogue beast magnet with the rope and the carabiner still on it. Baby's killing the game. Got the unfired Winchester shotgun shell. Got my new cell phone. Kyocera. Doesn't say what kind. Kyocera 3G Coma. Whatever that means. But this phone is now in a coma for the rest of its life. Got cool little needle nose pliers that do not open, but maybe they will one day. This knife, the Fisherman Stainless Steel made in Japan. Very shiny still. First find of the day is Nancy's little bottle opener. <laughs> this was the only thing we found at that kayak launch we were at. We didn't film really anything there besides that one clip, but we did find this and uh, the catfish bell that you guys saw. 
We got a pair of handcuffs here that we found in Detroit. Super pumped that we found them, especially in Detroit. Got this. Suck it. <laughs> There's hammerhead here. Not sure what kind of hammer that is, but it's neat. We don't have one yet. Big old chain. Nancy's chain with the bonus find attached to it, Mr. Locke. Got this here wrench. Nancy liked this can. <laughs> it's a nice can. Look at that can, Dave. You found this can. Whatever it was, it expired. What's the answer there? October. Okay. This expired October 22nd of 2017. Huh? Pretty close. Yeah. Another little fishing weight here. And of course, what was in the safe was this Apple computer. Soak this puppy in some rice. That's gonna fire right back up. Never. I can't believe that. There was actually something in the safe that we found. That was the first time we had that happen. And it just so happened to be an Apple laptop. It's freaking insane. This is all from one day, guys. We traveled from one side of the state to the other. They found all this crazy stuff. We got the magnet, the cell phone, the shotgun shell, this drill bit, lots of the fishing lures, this knife, the handcuffs, the bottle opener, the socket, all in Detroit. We got the laptop, oh, and Nancy's can. It's from Detroit. I don't know if I said that or not. Got the laptop, the safe, the bike, the scooter, the candy machine, this, the, 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 the what? Um, chain. The chain, the wrench, and a couple more fishing lures in Lansing. My goodness. And I know I, I made a lot of bad jokes about Detroit. There are all this jokes, jokes. Detroit gets a bad rap, but we absolutely loved it there. It was quiet, everybody there was so friendly. Shout out to Qdoba on Palmer Street. The young guys that work there have customer service figured out and uh, they helped me pick out my food. It was my first time there and they did an excellent job, so shout out to them. Also shout out to Holiday Inn on Lost Street. It was actually a really nice hotel. We really enjoyed staying there. Everybody was super nice and the hospitality there was on point and they let us stay two extra hours. So, you know, shout out to them. <coughs> it, was a, it was a great day. Yes, great day of magnet fishing, yes. Sorry, my mind is busy right now. The two haunted houses we went to, one was Eloise Asylum. And we got these shirts there. I survived Eloise Asylum. We did. I almost didn't survive the basement there though. The basement there terrified me. Sorry we couldn't get uh, some clips of the inside of either of the haunted houses, but they have policies and we didn't want to be those people to break them just for some clips. The second one we went to though was Hush Haunted Attraction. Attractions. Yeah. That one was also really good. They had a lot of good animatronics and stuff there. A couple jump scares, but um, if you have young children, the Hush one is definitely the one to go to. It's really good. It's not that scary. Um, it, it, I mean, I really like it still. A lot of cool little details to look at and everything, but Eloise Asylum. My goodness. Terrified me. I didn't expect to get scared, but I was jumping like a little baby. My hand was sweating in Nancy's hand, and uh, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I made her walk through the doorway first. Not going to lie. I didn't like it. But it's definitely worth the money. If you're ever in, in the Detroit area and you want to go to a haunted house, Eloise Asylum. But if you have young children, Hush Haunted Attractions is the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun. Me and Nancy's mini vacation, our first one that we got to stay together since we started dating. It was a super good time. We had a lot of fun at the haunted houses. We had a crazy luck magnet fishing across the state today. Started in Detroit. Went to Lansing, ended up in Grand Rapids. Now we're home. And we are both tired and hungry. So we're gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you on the next one.